Temperature inversions are a very important concept for applicators to be aware of, primarily because you want to avoid applying Enlist herbicides if a temperature inversion is occurring. What we'd like to discuss here is what a temperature inversion is, when they typically occur, and how to test for them. So as far as what a temperature inversion is, it might be helpful to think about what most people are familiar with during a normal part of the day. I think most people can probably relate to the, a scenario where in the middle of the day or during the bulk of the day, the temperature is warmest at, uh, at the ground surface and then slowly cools as you increase in elevation. But during a temperature inversion, what occurs there is basically that scenario is flipped upside down. So now you've got a cooler layer of air next to the ground surface and on top of that you've got a, a layer of warm air that kind of acts as a lid. Particles can come up through the cool air and get trapped kind of under the lid or under the ceiling of that warm air and then begin to drift laterally in unpredictable directions and in unpredictable distances, potentially over very long distances. That's where the potential risk lies is in those particles moving uh, in a unpredictable manner for, for quite a ways. Now, as far as uh, when temperature inversions occur, there's a couple of environmental conditions that tend to be high risk. One is very still conditions, very calm scenario where you've got less than three miles per hour of wind speed. Second would be either late in the evening or early in the morning, uh, often when the temperature is within five degrees of the overnight low. And a third good indicator is ground fog. If you see fog in the valleys or low-lying areas, that's also a very good indicator that a temperature inversion may be occurring. But it's also important to note that just because you don't see ground fog does not necessarily mean that an inversion is not occurring. As far as how to test for a temperature inversion, probably the two most common methods is either smoke, using a smoke bomb, or some kind of a powder like a wind chalk. And if you release either of those uh, substrates into the air and you don't have a temperature inversion, it should just drift naturally with the wind and should mix vertically up into the atmosphere in a, in a normal manner. But if you see that smoke, begin to kind of uh, aggregate and suspend at, at a certain height and begin to move laterally, that's often a good sign that you're under uh, a temperature inversion. And if you see that, you definitely do not want to spray enlist herbicides under that condition and want to wait until the inversion has dissipated before proceeding with your application. So hopefully that uh, helps you all understand what a temperature inversion is, when they typically occur, and how to test for them. And as always, more information is available on enlist.com.